I think people can get carried away writing uh, action, but it's also important to be thoughtful about making sure the story is fleshed out, making sure the characters are transforming. Michael Lucker is a writer, director, and producer with 20 years experience in the industry. He was an assistant to Steven Spielberg on Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, Back to the Future 2 and 3, and many more films. He wrote more than 20 screenplays for Paramount, Disney, DreamWorks, Fox, Universal, and many more. He's worked on multiple cable TV productions. Michael recently wrote the book, Crash, Boom, Bang, How to Write Action Movies. Thanks for joining me, Michael. Sure. Thanks for having me. All right. Let's talk about your new book, how you broke it down, and what's the difference between writing an action movie as opposed to other genres, such as a thriller or a comedy. And I know you can mix the genres, but let's talk specifically about uh, the action movie. Sure. Well, I think a lot of the principles that I include in the book kind of uh, apply to all genres and movies. Mm -hmm. You're right. But I try to focus specifically on sort of the nuances of uh, what makes great action concepts, what makes great action characters, what um, makes great you know, plots and stories for action movies, um, ways to kind of uh, manage the dialogue and you know, other sort of you know, intricacies of, of the screenwriting in a way that'll help action writers you know, breathe new life into their ideas. Say somebody wants to write an action movie and they've never done it before. What's the first piece of advice that you'd give to them? Uh, go see a good action movie. There's plenty of bad action movies, so go see a good one and take note of uh, um, what works in those. Also, be thoughtful about the idea that you're going to spend the next six weeks, six months, or six years writing because um, there's lots of action movies out there that are already being made. There's a lot of action movies that are in the funnel on their way to being made, so it's prudent to be thoughtful about you know, how you're going to be spending your time and think about writing something different. Think about something, think about writing something that's going to move you, that's going to move others. It's going to allow you to uh, tell a story that'll uh, inspire others, things like that. Are there different levels of action that you can write into a script? I think people can get carried away writing uh, action. Um, and great action movies have a, have a lot of action in it, but it's also important to be thoughtful about making sure the story is fleshed out, making sure the characters are transforming. If those two things are being done already, then um, be clever with your action, be creative with your action, and make sure the action is pushing the story along. Going on a car chase down a mountain road for hours and hours and days on end gets a little monotonous, but if the, but if the character is being tested, and is growing and having to be um, thoughtful and creative and how they extricate themselves from the predicament that they're in, then we're really going to be engaged in that action sequence. Okay. Can we talk about um, how, how your book is broken hey. down? Uh, sure. Uh, the book is broken down based on sort of the tenets of um, teaching that I uh, do at Emory University in Atlanta and at University of North Georgia and also in my own screenwriter school and so um, it's built largely the way that I write as well so it's coming up with a great idea and then thinking about what character is going to go in that idea then starting to map out that idea into a three-act structure then breaking it down by scenes so if you take the bits and pieces of storytelling and break them down in pieces like this, it makes climbing that mountain of writing a 120 page screenplay not so overwhelming. Once the story is laid out, then we have a chance to kind of go into the formatting, making sure everybody understands uh, that, and then going into uh, action specifically, how to write great action, what makes great action writing, and then being focused on um, dialogue, transitions, um, and also uh, ending up really talking about the business of being in action, in action films. Uh, the difference between the dialogue when you're writing an action film, when you're writing the action and writing the dialogue, mm -hmm. how, how do you describe the action in a script? I think you want to be uh, descriptive, creative, um, energetic in how you write your action. 
And then I think you want your dialogue to reflect what your character or characters are facing and dealing with without being on the nose and without being repetitive. Um, I think it, uh, one of the tendencies of action screenwriters is to write dialogue that they're hoping will be the next great, you know, wry line, yippee ki motherfucker that will, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, have, have a long life and legacy and be heralded as one of the great dialogue lines. When you're trying to force dialogue like that, I think it often falls flat on its face. I think the best lines come out of um, uh, sort of organic uh, characters speaking the way they really would speak. It almost seems like action films are like a lot of one-liners, uh, which most action films actually have a lot of comedy from the ones that I've watched. And speaking of watching films, uh, you and I were talking before this about the the homework assignments on this. Could you talk a little bit about each chapter has what you call a homework assignment, which is an exercise? Sure. They're put in there um, sort of in keeping with what I teach. But ideally now, any writer that picks up this book anywhere on the globe will be able to uh, apply and practice the principles that are included in the chapter in a way that will enable them to bring their writing to life. A lot of people talk about writing stories, and a lot of people can read a lot of books, but having um, sort of the steps in place that make the screenwriting process more manageable, especially for the beginner, I think is something that um, will be advantageous to writers worldwide. So the the homework specifically is watch or read a script of a successful movie that exemplifies um, uh, the teachings within that chapter. And after you read the script, watch that movie. Watch Die Hard. Watch Lethal Weapon. Um, watch The Matrix. Watch Born Ultimatum. And see what they've done in those movies. Then the lessons specifically after that are focused on you come up with your concept. You come up with a one-page bio on your character. You come up with a one-page outline, a 30,000-foot view to your story. And then you can go on and break it down into a treatment of four pages. So things like that help, hopefully, make the writing process um, accessible to to all. And by the time you're done with the book... um if you read it and do all the exercises, watch the movies, which I think is cool homework or exercises, um, you end up with a script. It, it's telling you to write a, uh, but it wasn't a full script, correct? The There's 12 chapters in the book, each mm-hmm. hitting the different topics. And the way I've broken it down, it allows you to finish the first half of your script, mm-hmm. essentially 55 pages by the time you close the book, if you choose to go that way. But by the end, the hope is, that you're now equipped with all the tools and knowledge to finish those last 55 pages on your own. Awesome. Michael, thanks for joining me. And uh, before we let you go, can people get a hold of you? Sure. Uh, the best way to reach me is through screenwriterschool.com. And my email there is michael at screenwriterschool. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sure. Thanks so much for having me.